You know, until I got into owning braced AR pistols, I never really understood the value or the purpose of the Law Tactical Folder. But then, with the addition of certain products specifically made for it, like this Vertex backpack, you're able to quickly deploy a potent, much, much more effective in terms of range weapon than your normal CCW, and all in a very transportable, very portable package. This little AR, even if it weighs a little more than a handgun, obviously it does, is infinitely more effective. So it allows the shooter to, to take this much more capability with them for like a bug out bag or a car gun. But more importantly, it's something that you can take on hikes and you can have that's readily accessible and it runs and runs and runs. Because personally, one of the biggest things I was concerned with when I first saw the Law Tactical Folder is that it would affect the reliability of the firearm. And truth be told, that doesn't seem to be the case at all. These things are die hard reliable and they only add roughly three inches to the overall length of the carbine or pistol in exchange for giving you the folding capability. Now this may seem like a very simple feat to those of you not familiar with the AR-15, but those of you that are realize that the buffer extension is an integral part of the design. And as such, this was pretty much impossible all but 10 years ago. And it also meant that the biggest limiting factor to making an AR ultra compact, whether it's an SPR or a pistol, was this receiver extension slash buffer tube. With the Law Tactical Folder, a shooter only sacrifices about an inch off the back of the upper receiver, excuse me, lower receiver, to gain the capability of being able to fold that buffer tube out of the way. It's actually remarkable. But wait, you might be thinking, can you shoot that thing with the brace folded? Well, the answer is both yes and once. If you've got a Gen 1 or Gen 2 model of the Law Tactical Folder, they recommend that you do not shoot it with the brace folded unless you absolutely have to. If you've got a Gen 3, they say it will not cause any damage, but again, you should not make it a regular occurrence. In either scenario, the gun will become simply a single shot weapon because without that receiver extension and the buffer return spring, there's no way to cycle the action. And more so, you can't even manually cycle the action until the brace is then locked in the forward position, the non-folded position, because there's no way to actually extract that brass. Now that said, if you need that capability, even if you have to then deploy the brace or deploy the stock and then manually chamber the round, odds are if you shot with it folded and you felt it was necessary, you very much needed it. And good news is you can get it back in action pretty quick. Now you might be skeptically rubbing your chins and wondering, well, it still doesn't sound like a great idea. I mean, who even needs that? Well, here's the thing. This isn't really designed to replace your concealed carry weapon. It's meant to augment your available arsenal in an incident where you would actually need something like a carbine, but you can't really reasonably or feasibly conceal such a thing. Yes, you can put this in a backpack, but it's gonna be much, much slower to deploy than simply reaching into your in the waistband holster or your pocket holster or whatever and deploying a standard handgun. Now, what it's really useful for is if you're in a scenario where you need something bigger, like those recently fiery but mostly peaceful protests and you need to escape mob justice, do you really wanna be limited to 10, 15 rounds of nine millimeter or would you want something like a 300 blackout pistol which you'll be able to quickly refresh with a second or third mag and be able to navigate to your vehicle with your family and get the hell out of Dodge. I think the answer is pretty straightforward and pretty obvious, and it well justifies the Law Tactical Folder's roughly $250 MSRP. Now my experience with it thus far has been overwhelmingly positive, and I would feel very comfortable having this in my bug out bag or GTFO bag or something equivalent. And yeah, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it adds a ton, a ton of functionality and versatility to your AR platform and doesn't affect reliability. What's not to love? Thanks guys. For Ammo Land TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Ammo Land TV. And as always, I will catch you guys on the flip side.